Yeah, it's fine. We got it. Let's just do it, bro. I'm not like, let's do it. Let's just. I'm starting to lose my motivation for this Good, shit. Good, bro. The, the, the Zista can't get unmotivated. The fuck, dog. Never need talking about this cat. I know I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's because you old, motherfucker, man. No, nah, I'm still tired. Hey, we all got to get old. You going you gonna to be there, too. Hey, bro, I'm already no, I was, old, bro. I was, uh, I'm, I'm I was already old, bro. hundreds earlier. That was clean. I'm already old, dog. That was, that, was, that was clean dumbbell hundreds right there on the bench press. Just give me two I was trying. Two. That shit was trying clean. Trying to do my thing. Because you, 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 you were able to move it slow and controlled. Most people fuck it up right there. Hey, y'all live on my shit right now. Just don't say nothing crazy. Okay. Everybody gets everybody gets spotted usually. You know, it's hard to get those dumbbells up. You don't get spotted. So we are live. We're good to go. Y'all live on my shit right now. We, I, I believe. Yeah, we live yeah, on okay. my shit. Landon, we're good. We, we make sure we're good to go. Yeah. Live on my shit. I just gotta right. yeah, make sure. Right, Landon, make sure you mute your mic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Nah, just to make sure you don't say anything crazy. We'll, we'll be yeah, live. Don't don't incriminate yourself any further, Zista. Bing bong. Bing bong. Live. Live. Uh, you let me know when we're ready, Stevie. Oh, shit, I think we good. Fucking live on a Friday night. What's good, Landon? How you feeling? Appreciate oh, you. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Yeah, they already tapped in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck. I gave him the wrong goddamn link. Motherfucker. That's cool. <clears throat> Uh -huh. oh. live. We're live. I know. Live, but I got a twenty. I'm the wrong link. Why does it say? Why does it? What is the title on this video that you have live landed? Come on, man. Uh, just Benzino versus Stevie Knight. So we're right. I just see my boy Mike just hit me. Yes, sir. I can see. see the, uh, oh, you know what? I can't. See. I can see the comments to my phone. So we're all good. What's going on, everybody? We're just making sure that Stevie got everything right on his end, and then we will start talking. It's been nonstop back and forth, real quick. <laughs> Already, huh? Both of these men have some uh, some things to get off their chest. Uh, so I'm gonna let them. Is it really that serious? Is it really that serious? I mean, is it really that serious? This is how y'all feel about this? You tell me. I don't think so. If you ask me. Come on, 25 seconds and I'm, 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 I'm back. Okay, no problem. We got it. Should have grabbed some. I got to stop drinking. Some brews. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm turning into an alcoholic. No, that's all good, bro. Somebody pass me the Zister, after after uh this, I'm gonna right. go up like a crazy. Uh, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. All right, so a lot of people have been reaching out to me, and they wanted to see. You know, they they started telling me about you, Stevie. Uh, shout out to my guy Mike out in Buffalo. He told me, you know, these guys, you, we resemble each other. We're doing the same shit in the same lane, and he said we should work together. I don't know anything about you. Over days ago i find out who you are and um the next day or two days later all of a sudden we're connected because you're talking about the interview that i had with benzino yeah. and um, and then you know i spoke to benzino about it just a few days ago um while he was out in the in the woods and um he had some stuff to say so i was like you know what let's get, let's get these gentlemen in the room together uh, Benzino was good. Cool. You're upset about some of the things you were saying. I don't. I'm be honest, bro. I'm not even like I don't know him. I don't know these YouTube guys. Um, it's like being upset. It really. I, I mean, 
I know what the internet stuff is, and I know all the hype and everything. So I guess, I, you know, to to hype it up, it, I would have to be upset, right? But in all real actuality, it, it's hard to be upset with people that that you you don't know, you never hang out with, you'll never meet, over accusations or narratives and shit. I'm be honest, like I don't, I don't really like, I really don't put that much emotion anymore in, and motherfuckers on the internet. I just don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know Stevie does his blog, like a, a, other YouTubers. I'm be honest. I really, okay. Now, I know and that world is serious to y'all, right? I get it. That's y'all's world. That's not my world. I really never knew about him. I really never knew about the other guys, the Knox Hills guys and the Evolve. I don't know about these dudes. It's only because my kid, Ray Ray, and a few other guys is telling me, you know, that, that you know what I'm saying, like who they are. But I don't. It's, and I was telling Stevie this, like, it's not my world. Like, I know I know for a fact that that's what y'all do, and the internet is y'all's world. I get it, but that's not my world at all. It has no effect on me, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I, if, if, if the internet's talking about me, right, I don't know them, so if they're talking about me based on whatever it is out there, then that's them interested in me. I'm not interested in them. And it's no disrespect. I just, I just, I don't know who you are, and I just don't put too much stock into this YouTube um, influencer shit unless it has some positive shit to do. If it's negative, then why would I even care? Let's be honest. But about how, how do you feel, Stevie, about what he said? I mean, I hear you, bro. But like, based on what I've heard you say, that that statement doesn't seem to fit. Like I basically say what you said a couple days ago with. Danza, like you had, you had some things to say in regards to. What did I say? Let me know. Tell me what I said. I um, mean, the gist of it was like, you know, he pretty much he a he a Uncle Tom, he a bootlegger and all this shit because he support. I, I mean, I mean, I feel like I feel like I feel like anybody that is always tearing down the next black man for something like you don't you don't know me. Yeah. Like and 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 and, and if it, and most of it's because of the Eminem thing. Like most of it no, is that. Of it, now, the only reason why. Right. Now, now my theory is this. My theory, that, and then I'll let you talk, bro. Yeah. My theory is this. My theory is most of you guys, right, that do your channels, praise Eminem or like put on content for Eminem because you know that Eminem has a huge fan base. Yeah. So it's not, it's not like you're doing it for anybody else. So you know automatically you can get locked in to all of Eminem's fan base. Now, you do know that most of his fan base, right, and maybe we can get shed some light to this so you can understand. Like, a lot of Eminem's fan base are white people who, who don't even like black people. A lot of Eminem's fan base are white people who don't even listen to hip hop. A lot of his fan base are just white people who just want, because of hip hop, he's me, the most- Let me ask you a question, because I, 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 I want to address this. All right, I want go ahead. But then I, okay, but then just let me finish, my, let me finish, because I yeah, think it's yeah. important. No, I get it. You know I just saying? I don't want to forget what you just said. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna you said a lot of okay, okay, but let me finish. Yeah, but after you right, ask the question, you, I need you. to finish my well, point. Right, Are we gonna ask the question? I don't want to forget what you just said. You you know, okay, well then write it down. So let me just finish my point. Let me finish my point. So my point is like a lot of Eminem's fan base. Are racist and they only dig into hip hop and Eminem because he's veered as the number one selling artist, as the biggest artist over a culture of black people where hip hop is the number one influence in the world. So let, let's understand who his fan base is. And really, but what a do lot you base of them that on, though? What do you base that on? Why, why, why do you feel like the most, you feel like most of his fan base only tap into Eminem, but tap into hip, hip hop because of Eminem? Because, all right, well, let me, let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because for the last 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. I get, I get, I get, I get so much racial niggas. I've been called so much nigger shit, so much like because I could see through this. You, you need subscribers to feed your family, to pay your bills. That's cap though. Because that's cap though. That, that that may be valid for like other content creators. And I understand what you're saying, like that. Like it was, it was validity. It was validity towards some of what you said. Some of what you well, a lot of what you said in the big picture, because some people ride that Eminem train. Yo, hold on. What happened to my thing? There what? we go. Like I keep. You no, know, a, a lot of people ride the Eminem train to get views. I understand that, bro. But like specifically for Stevie, and I want to keep myself out of it because I want to speak for the majority. But like my channel's a bit different. But I wouldn't expect you to know that because I, I don't imagine you tapped into like how I got to where I where I am right now at this point. 
because the the way I view music or the way I viewed music like four years ago was more along the lines of what the fuck you be talking about. You know what I'm saying? But like I tapped into Eminem when I first I got exposed to Eminem. I didn't fuck with him. I didn't like him. Right. And then I got an opportunity to fucking dive into his shit and really got to goddamn see what this fool has been doing the past 20 years. And that made me appreciate what he does to hip hop has done for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not your the regular motherfucker that's riding the Eminem train. What has he done for hip hop? Pause, pause, real quick, y'all. Yeah, there's some weird echo. Zeno, did did your phone geek out? Hold on, hold on. I can hear him good though. Y'all, y'all hear any echo? No. Do the people on the YouTube hear an echo? Yes. Okay. I don't think it. See, I don't think it's you. It's just something in the YouTube. Let's see. Hold so, on, hold on. Oh, oh, it's because it. There he goes. He's got it. He's. Is the echo gone right uh-huh. now? No, you can hear it. So it's me. I'm saying right now, now that he's gone. You can hear it with everything. Can you hear it? I don't hear anything. Yeah, I don't hear it at all. Uh, is, is it is it better now? Is it better now? Let's see. I'm waiting on uh Yeah, I'm waiting on it to cycle is it, through. Is it better, Landon? I think so. Okay, we good. We good. So the question I'm asking is right? Hold on, right? CZ, hold on. Let Landon. You fixed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go. All right. All right so the question I'm asking Stevie is right. You said Eminem's done so much hip hop. What, what be be specific on, on, on what you, Eminem's done. I'll give you one example of that. One? <laughs> no, I, I give you I give you a few, bro. I give you a few. But like okay, please. The, the, the bridge that this man has manufactured from his existence <laughs> doing this shit. Like, who do you think's put more money into into hip hop outside of Eminem by the global by his global reach? Right? I, I have conversations oh, yeah. daily with people who they'll tell me their history. They're they're, they're true a, a hundred, authentic a hundred percent hip hop fans that tell me more about hip hop than I fucking know. And their introduction into hip hop was Eminem. You know what I'm saying? They weren't checking for hip hop at all. But like I, I understand where the where the I guess the negativity comes from because you have an issue with a white man. Did you, yeah. uh, did you see, is somebody trying to call you or something? Is that why it's happening? No, ain't nobody no, calling no, me. Was, My shit's on air for a second. Uh, they, I don't said know. On, they said it's on Steve's end. It's on my end. Oh, I think yo, we might be good. Yo, 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 mic check. One, two, one, two. Let me know, Landon. You. Okay. Yep, mic me... check. You sound good Mike to me. Check. Yep, you yep, yep. Zister? Yeah. All right. All right, now it's good. All right, so look. It's, 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 uh, you got to understand, and, and it's going to be tough for you to find middle ground because, uh, you know, Z, I was talking to you earlier, and I know you're angry. It ain't that serious, Miguel. Just let him talk, know, but man. I also knew you're angry about some shit, too. I'm not angry. Why you keep saying I'm angry, I'm angry, I just feel like he, he has I'm not, not even about that. Uh, you know what? Y'all are y'all tripping, man. Y'all, yeah, y'all, I'm y'all. I'm going to say why you're angry, right? I think that the truth is when, when you do speak on it, I know the real you, and I had the conversation with you. Some people do way too much in your DMs, in your family's DMs. You know what I mean? For over 20 years. And then I, so you're allowed to be mad about that. Bro, but, but hold up, but hold hey, up, but hold up, but hold up. Let me tell you something, dog. If 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 I was Benzino, bro, I can only imagine the amount of fucking heat, toxic ass stands have given you for the past twenty years. I understand that, but that's not reality, bro. Like that's not the real world, bro. But but you 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 represent. But how can the, you say on one hand the internet? How can you say no, that? No, but you rep. No, you just because told me that the you know, internet. Because, because didn't you just tell me? No, you you're not reality, bro. You're not reality. Let me, let me talk. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just calm down, bro. Relax. Let's let, we, we're not going to be able to interview if, if if you keep screaming and yelling. I, I, you, just bad, me, loud, you just told me. You just told me. You. You just told me before this that that the internet is the real world and yeah. it's turned into the real. World. Yeah. But now because it's not the real world, when I'm getting hate, look, 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 look. This is what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna keep it short because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue or, or debate with you. I'll just log off. I ain't got time for this. Listen, my thing is this, bro. Like, if okay, you made a point to say Eminem's bridged the gap. You say that he's done for hip hop, and I'm trying to figure out 
he bridged the gap. What? He hasn't bridged no gap, bro. And this is the problem. And let me probably enlighten you so you can see. Once again, America, all right? America, now, I, I don't, where, I don't where, where are you from, Stevie? Where Atlanta, you from? Georgia. Where, where you grow up? All right, so you, you here in the A, right? Like, okay, um, America is, you know, there are, there are places, have you been to like in, in, in the Midwest America, like in the Midwest, have you been like to Idaho, Nebraska, Wisconsin, nah. places like this? Nah. All right, look, Stevie, yeah. so look, right? There's places in America that never see a black man yeah. and that never want to see a black man. We have to come to the, yeah. to the, we are, I, and, and, and that's not because of me, Stevie. Like uh, I didn't, Benzino didn't do that. Yeah. That's the history of this country, Stevie. Okay. But no, but no, that's the history. history well, let me, let me, let me. No, but I gotta, it, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop I, that right there, bro. Cause that's not, that's not yeah. reality, bro. It's just geographically well, we both, we both, low. Let me interject a little bit. Let's get it. That's Maybe not reality, it. Stevie. No, that's geographically, bro. They're white that's in cheap. Idaho what are you and Missouri. Talking about, they're man. white in Idaho and Wyoming and Montana because geographically that's where white people. But are. how is that not reality? How is that not reality? How much? How much? How much? How much, how much, how much grip? What are you does, talking about? How bro? much grip? How much control does Idaho and Montana and Wyoming have over hip hop? Listen to me. Are you gonna listen, Stevie? Yeah, I'm you listening. Keep I'm talking, that's what I'm saying. All right. Well, you can learn something, bro. Why don't you? Right. Why don't you listen and learn something instead and stop cutting me off? Bro. All right. The, in the Midwest, right, there are you got white people that that don't even deal with black people, right? Most of the most of the white people that deal with black people are the ones in the inner cities and that, and that grow up with them. But but unfortunately, Stevie, there's a lot of white people that do not deal with black people. Okay, the funny thing is that's how Trump is getting all the votes. Trump probably really isn't against black people. I don't know. His father was a Klan member, but Trump gets the votes when he says stuff like bad stuff about Mexicans and bad stuff about black people. So he's going to get, because he knows that, that, that he don't have to say nothing else. He'll just run on, um, make America really white again. And then he'll get all those votes. Understand Stevie. Once again, when Eminem came out, Eminem is from St. Joseph, Missouri. He was born Eminem. Was uh, right, right, right. He was but he, but was he was there. Texas, he was there. Was Atlanta, Atlanta. You know if, if you're born there, if you're born there, that's where you're from. No, What's it's not. That's not where you're about? from. You could, I was born in Texas, not living when I was three. Yeah. I'm born. Hey, I was from watching, Texas. If you're watching right now, uh, whatever stream you're bro, watching. Bro, he right. lived there. Hold on. Easter, let, let, me, let me get in he there grew for up there. Let me get in there. Right, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Y'all can have this. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not with this shit. All right, but relax a second. He's Hold on a second. <laughs> all right so look whatever stream i'll get him back on here but whatever stream you're uh you're watching on um you know make sure you hit that like and subscribe right. button on the dancer project uh, page like this, and like also and gotta the watch project, me. Cause without dancer i wouldn't even be here giving benzino the business <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, I knew I knew he was gonna get mad. I knew something was gonna happen along Bro, the line. Because this shit ain't making no sense, dog. <laughs> Man, are you still there? I know he's he's probably yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. So let me let me get that this thought off real quick. If you're watching on the Dancer Project page. Uh, make sure you head over to Stevie's page and hit him with a, a like and a subscribe. And your your YouTube page today, no? Yeah, Stevie Knight. Okay, that's Stevie Knight. Yeah. There he is. He's back. And then if you're watching on Stevie's page, head on over to the Danza Project. Look, I know that uh, you obviously we do, we're in this game. We're trying to get subscribers. We're trying to grow. I'm gonna give uh, you know one of the one of the people that comment on the page, Landon, and you can pick somebody randomly when they head over to our live. Just just do hashtag uh, Benzino versus Stevie Knight, and then I'm gonna give one of these people a hundred dollars that that go over to the page that um hit that like or hit that subscribe button hit that like button and comment that on there um now and then all you got to do if y'all got cash at paypal whatever i'll send it through to there benzino please for just do me a favor i got you all right i we it's, it's good that we had the conversation at least because I, I i spoke to you earlier you you just have points right and then i spoke to stevie and he has points and i think if we could bridge the gap it's definitely important but it ain't going to be simple right from the jump we're not going to be able to bridge the gap bro it's just simple and it's all right. 
Some some bri some bridges can't be some gaps can't be bridged. I'm not gonna debate and argue with nobody and get cut. I'm not doing it. It ain't that serious to me. You know you know what the craziest shit is. My life will go on, and I can like th this doesn't affect. He's in his world. I'm in my world. We will never cross paths. What what does it matter? He has his way of thinking. I got my way of thinking. We're not gonna be able to bridge the gap. I already see it with him. It ain't come. He's he's already drunk the drunk the Kool Aid. So it's cool. That's cool. He he's he Eminem Eminem got Eminem got a loyal one. That that's cool. I'm not gonna do that. If we're gonna have a conversation, I'm gonna talk. Then he's gonna talk. If he's gonna interrupt me, I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore because it, it it ain't that serious. All right, I'll let you. My bad, Benzino. I'll let you talk, bro. My bad. Bro. Stevie, all I'm saying is this, bro. Look, number one, I'm just trying to get my points, bro. That's it. And if, and if and if and if you don't see it that way, I don't have any problem with that, man. We can agree like men to disagree, bro. It's not no hostilities. It ain't no anger. Like, I know that's what gets the clicks and comments. But man, we gotta see beyond that and just be like, like, like really like, you know, like, come on, man. Like, I don't, I don't got nothing against you, bro. I don't know you to have anything against you, to have hostilities against you. You do your YouTube thing, I respect it. I do my thing, respect it. And that's just it. The Eminem thing, listen, bro, I've never met him. You've never met him. Why would two black men sit here on a on a on a on a live arguing over a white man we ain't never met? And, and we'll probably never meet. Like, it don't make sense, Stevie. And, and listen, bro, let me tell you, I get it. I get it. He got a big fan base, and by feeding, the, you know, drinking the Eminem Kool-Aid feeds that fan base. And if that's what feeds your family, my nigga, then I'm not going to fuck that up. And I'm not going to say shit. Do, do, do your thing, black man, and get your money. But the, but the reality, the reality of my reality, how I see it, is just how I see it, all right? I've been around a long time, and it's just how I see it. I believe that his fan base... Most of them, and I'm not all of them, but most of his fan base are racist. Most of his fan base just use Eminem just to fucking put out white supremacy bullshit. Most of his fan base care nothing about a, a black, nothing about a black rapper. And I'm gonna give you an example. And I've said it before. Him and Royce came out with an album, Bad versus Evil, and it sold a lot. It sold maybe a million copies. Royce came out with an album six weeks to two months after that, and it, it didn't even crack over 50,000 copies. I don't even if it cracked over 30, all right? Th that, you just gotta do the math. What is that telling you? That's telling you that all his other white fans did not fuck with the black man who was just on the fucking song with him. Same thing with D12. Eminem gets on the album, they go double platinum. Them niggas do something on their own, nobody buys their shit. Like, it is, is, it, is it possibly because nobody cares about their content, though, that it ain't that good? Well, well why wouldn't they care about their content if they're down with Eminem and there's so much bridging the gap and, and they're supporting? They, oh, but let me just finish. If, if, they, if, they, if, they, if, they, if they do, then they're supposed to support the black artists, too. That's why there's no other black artist on his label. That's why they all end up flopping or, or leaving. But, I mean, Yellow Wolf went to his label and he flopped, too. He's white. Um, because Yellow Wolf's not that hot. He's not that hot. Nah, that's, what nice. that's what I'm trying to say. Nice. The other people, Yellow Wolf was kind of disgusting. Fired them at the time. Can, I, can I respond? For sure. It's because it's, it has nothing to do with race, bro. It's because everybody <laughs> was there to see Eminem, and that was it. Eminem could make an album with Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Beyonce. Right, it doesn't matter. Everybody's there to see Eminem. That's it, bro. Like it has nothing to do with race. It's because they fuck with Eminem, and the, and I, I think you have. I think you have. I don't. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you know, white people are the majority in America. You know what I'm saying? And and what that but, means? Hey, let me let me finish. You ask you, you asked me to be quiet. Let me All right. let me finish. Okay. All right. Right? All right. And it's not it's not white privilege. It's majority privilege, bro. The majority. <laughs> what? Listen, listen. Let me let me finish. I'm listening. Let, I can laugh. Finish. Let me finish. Right? <laughs> but this is what it is. This is what it is, bro. Think about anybody that listens to what what they like, bro. It's it's the it's the relationship. It's the relativity. The connection I have with this artist. The majority of Black America. Cannot cannot connect with what Eminem is saying. I would argue that the reason why most people support the artists that they support is how they relate to that artist. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta think about that. If 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 Eminem, of course Eminem is nice, 
But Eminem is representative of what is the majority of America. So by default, he's going to get all of these the support and the fan base he gets because he is how he looks. And on top of that, he can back it up because what he does lyrically. Like you, you're just getting mad at reality, bro. It's like it is what it is. If if, if a white man went to Africa trying to do Afro beats, they're not gonna fuck with him because that's that's not the majority there. Majority privilege, bro. It is it is what it is. I, I I'll say this because I'm I'm over here being super quiet, and you know I'm not a quiet motherfucker, but I enjoy the fuck out of this. You know, I mean, I I don't mind being a referee. goddammit. it, the shit's kind of cool. I would like asleep. to hear Benzino's response to that, bro. It's not racism, it's just reality. It's the fact that most men are stronger okay. than women. Women can get mad at men because they're stronger than women, but it is what it is. The majority of America is white. You got a white boy out here that can cut everybody's head off lyrically. But at the same time, like, like, lyric, like, name your favorite artist, your rappers. Do these rappers have Stan? Do these rappers have Till I Collapse? Do these rappers have Lose Yourself? Like, he got the bangers to back it up. And on top of that, he has the shit for the culture, but the culture would never even dive in to even find out if that shit exists because they look at this white man thinking it's just nine-inch nails. And that's not Eminem at all, bro. This motherfucker literally, literally do everything in hip-hop. Okay. Okay. That's your view on it. I respect it. That's your opinion. It is true that, that it, it is true. That what's true? What's what's okay, true? Okay, so let me, what's let me true? Damn, Zister, come on, I can't talk. Because you're talking about I, true. What's, what's, what's true? Talk today? I'm going to tell you what's true. Go ahead. Let you let tell me, me what's say, true. Let me tell you what's true, right? There, no matter what, there is going to be, oh, whenever Eminem does drop something, people are going to fuck with it regardless if it's whack or not. White people, I'm, I'm, white I'm people, say white people, say white people. I, no, you, I, got, you, got, you got some black guys. That's here. important, say, say white people. people. That's bro. important, say white people. Hey, 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 Miguel, let me let me let me say one thing. Let me finish what I was saying first. Let me say one right, thing. Right, right. Let, him, let, let Miguel saying. finish what he's saying. Yeah, right, when you say people, say white people. But you 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 you're not even letting me get to the point though. Yeah, but no 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 no. When you said no 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 no. When you said he could drop anything and people are gonna buy it, you gotta say white people. So now no black people will buy it. No, but I didn't even get to finish my thoughts. A very small no no no. A very small percentage. I don't disagree with you. Honestly, I don't. All right, thank you. I think that it's it's well documented in hip hop, and there's been a lot of very popular rappers that have spoken up and said you know we don't bump that shit in the hood there are a lot of um there are there are a lot of people that speak on it um i forget recently there was just uh somebody uh, maybe even today or yesterday that came out and said i think it was boosie um that said you know that's not what we do we don't listen to it. so i know that by far he can't re- exactly he can't relate to it because you just said it he's not in our culture he's in their culture and let me tell you this the last fucking four or five albums he's dropped has been straight garbage. And not just the rhyming, but also the fucking beats. Let me ask you a question, Stevie. Eminem gets 60 years old. He's around the corner from 60. We all are, right? Okay, he's really, no, 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 no. He's really a couple years old than that, but we'll leave that alone. But look, let me ask you a question. Eminem said he was never gonna rap into his 50s. He lied, right? So let me ask you a question. When Eminem is 60 and he's long gone, what are you gonna do with your, um, with your YouTube channel? What you gonna talk about next? I mean that 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 just goes to show that you don't not inform of what I do, bro, because my shit is not Eminem specific. Well, why don't you tell me, Stevie? I, I'm sorry, you tell me. I'm saying, oh, bro, like I support Eminem because I realize what the fuck. No, it is. I'm asking you what else you do. What else do you do on your I YouTube? Music. I have two channels. I cover music on one, and the other mm-hmm. channel I cover just life in general. Right. Okay. I got I got, a, I got a nice audience on both. Right, it's not just Eminem. Which one do you have more? Which one do you have more? I have more on my music channel because I started that shit exactly. first. No, exactly. Started, no, no. I started my music channel first. My my other okay. channel is growing fast. The music, my music channel, bro. Okay, so okay, so Stevie, so, that's, so so let me tell you what I've done. You know, you mean let me let me give those. Uh, let me I, get. I, I know, but I'm a, I know, I know, I know, but maybe I should tell you. Maybe because maybe you know don't know, it, bro. This, yeah, but I'd like to say it, bro. Like I'd like to say you just say yours. I'd like to say it. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm I'm gonna wait till you finish. But I'm gonna say what I've done. But Go I don't ahead. Need to know that. Like, just because I, but I'm gonna say it anyway. But I'm gonna say it anyway. But I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm gonna say it anyway. Um. So, I I own the biggest magazine in life. All right. That and that documenting this shit. All right. 
that documented when there was no internet. All right. Right. And we started in 1988. All right. And we and I also invented the Source Awards, which was the blueprint for what BET is doing. All right. Right. What's BET doing now? Uh, award shows on, on hip hop. It, it, it's my blueprint. The first the, we, we, we did a two years contract. They came in. We, we, we um, did the Source Awards. They bounced out of the contract and then did the BET hip hop. Everybody knows it. But anyways, let me keep going. Um, I produced on Nas' Stillmatic album. That's my biggest production. The intro on it. All right. That's my biggest production credit. I've been on many, um, I, I, I invented the Source Hip Hop Hits, which sold over 5 million copies on Def Jam Records, all right? Um, uh, let's see, let's just keep going. Um, you know, I had a, 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 I had a top 20, I had a top 20 song called Rock the Party and toured the, and toured the world with that, all right? Um, 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 you know, uh, we was making two and a half million dollars a month with the source at our heights. All right, we did amazing things at the source magazine for 18 years, Stevie. After that, I, I, I invented Hip Hop Weekly and did that for seven years. All right. After that, after that, I dibbled into the into the into the reality TV world and got on about four or five number one shows every show I was on. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, brother, you know, like what you're doing with YouTube, I commend you. Good, good thing, brother. Keep, keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean, bro? I've been out here a long time, bro. What have you and I've accomplished, what have you done and I've accomplished, and I've accomplished, I've accomplished way more than, and I've accomplished way more than you. I've accomplished way more than you. That's valid, but like, I, oftentimes, I, I, oftentimes, I, I, oftentimes, I'll let you talk. The psychology, yeah. When people yeah. attack you, yeah. they know that they're fucking wrong, dog. You gotta attack me personally. <laughs> I'm not attacking you. I'm just, just like, telling you. I'm just. I'm just, just telling you. Just I'm just telling you. What, I'm just telling you. I've accomplished you way is, more than you. What you? That's irrelevant to the argument. That's oh no, it ain't. No, it ain't. It no, it ain't. 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 You and your YouTube. You listen, black man. Keep doing your YouTube and keep getting your subscribers, black man. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right, but Benzino. Stevie, reset real quick. I get reset it. What, <laughs> nigga? I'm good. Shit, yeah, fuck you, you reset. <laughs> shit, fuck you talking about reset. I ain't resetting shit. Wow. I've done a lot in this motherfucker. I've done a lot in this hip hop world. A lot, yeah. way more yeah. than him and all his. Way more than you all right, and all man, your YouTube keep, niggas keep, put together. Y'all niggas are respect. Y'all niggas are respect to what's keep, going keep on here, bro. Dick, you mean you, 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 you mean nothing? You mean nothing? Nothing. He's talking all that. The fuck out of here. He's talking all that. The fuck out of here. You're a weirdo. Get off Eminem's dick, you dick rider. You a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Right. You a whole dick rider. Wait, let me ask you. Right. You dick ride for these crackers out here, and, 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 and I don't, nigga. I don't. All right? Let me ask yeah. you question. Fuck out of here. Are you more mad at Eminem? Or his I'm not mad at nobody. Are you more mad? I'm not mad at nobody. Are you more mad? I'm not mad at nobody, Miguel. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not mad. How can a black man be racist? White people, white people, white people put us in chains, bro. How can a black, how can a black man be racist? They, they, they enslaved us. You a whole boot licker. You a whole sambo. You a whole sambo, bro. You a whole fucking sambo. You a whole sambo. You a boot licker. You a boot licker, bro. Okay. How the fuck can a fucking black man be racist tell me how in a, a fucking man, country? Tell me how, in a country, hey, yo, tell me how yo, a black your man fucking can... ancestors was slaves, my nigga. Right. Are you crazy? Are tell you fucking nuts? Tell me how. What's the, you, me how What's the matter with you, bro? What's the matter with you, bro? Is it that serious? Is it? The, is that the only way you can get money by sucking these crackers nuts? <laughs> the fuck is the matter with you, bro? Bro, you don't, you so out of touch with reality, bro. It's crazy. Man, you are. How am I out of touch with reality? Because, you sit your ass in front of a computer screen all the time. Yo, 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 bro, yo, bro. You suck white dick. That's not reality for me. I don't. Bro, bro you racist as fuck. Fuck all that, You're racist as fuck. You're fuck racist, period, period, dog. Say what You're you racist, want, nigga. Period. Fuck the only you, reason why Benzino was fucking relevant is because he raced back. Fuck you, nigga. Everybody. 
he gets fuck the, you, he gets nigga. the culture pissed. Fuck you and fuck all. He gets the culture fuck you pissed. with all your cracker you know, friends, nigga. Nice and fuck fucking you. No, no, no. Eminem's fans are racist. No, bro, That's you racist, dog. Nigga. You racist. Yeah, right. You racist. The only reason nigga. why, the only reason yeah, why you dick. get so much heat from fans because you talk so much shit. So of course, fuck you and the racist ass fans. Hey, fuck you and the fans. How about that? How about fuck you and the fans? That's fine. Steve, I got a question for That's you because I've been talking. That's I've been talking fine, to Benzino. Though. Steve, I got a question. Where for you. Those shit, man. I've been talking to Benzino, and I'm asking you this uh, to try to understand because it just got a little crazy, right? Yeah. Would That's you, what you want it though, right? Huh? Who me? Oh yeah, of course you. Why not? What do you? What gets to click the comments? What do you? What? This is what gets to click the comments, right? Oh, you get to click the yeah, comments because you talk. Oh, yeah, you crazy. right. I get to click the comments because nobody you knows who the fuck you are. Because you're a weirdo. You got it, dog. You mean nothing. You mean nothing. You've accomplished nothing. You ain't done I'm a, I'm shit. Uncle Tom. I'm a Uncle Tom. Done. You are. I'm a you are. Because you are. I you are. In the worst way. In the worst way. In a bad way. You're you're an Uncle Tom ass nigga in a bad way. Fuck out of here, weirdo. Let me ask you this question while Benzino was present. There's certain shit that I know and I see too, right? You don't think that you would be upset at that fan base at a completely different degree if they were DMing your wife every day? If they were posting pictures of your kids and attacking them, you don't think you'd have a fucking problem with them? I I, I understand that, but the reality of the situation is that ben, the reality Benzino is Benzino, right? Benzino asks for that fucking heat because the shit he puts out in the world. He's an outlier, bro. It's not reality of Eminem fans, bro. Like I've been doing this YouTube shit for the music shit for the past man. four years, bro. I've even this tasted nigga. the negative aspect of toxic cool, ass cool. fans, bro. I can't Niggas say cool. anything negative about Eminem because they'll come after me. And you don't. So can, and you so don't. I can, I can only and you imagine. Don't. And you Benzino, don't. Shut you the fuck up. Now, let me talk. You don't. Shut the fuck up. You don't. Shut the fuck up. I can only imagine. I can only, I can fuck only imagine. Fuck you, nigga. I can we in the A. We can get up, nigga. Fuck you. Let's do it. Let's do fuck it. You talk. Let's do it. When you want to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. When you want to do it. Let me let me finish my statement. When you want to do it. Danza. Danza. Yeah. Let me finish my statement. I can only imagine what it is to be a Benzino, bro. Because I, what I do, I, I, I hold you can never be me. But I hold it to a standard, bro. So if there ever comes across a song that I don't fuck with, the stands attack me because I say something negative about Eminem. And I must, and I support Eminem. So I can only imagine the type of toxic ass, racist hatred that a Benzino would get. But Benzino asks for it because the shit he puts out in the world, bro. Like only reason why Eminem is popular yeah. is white. He asking for it, dog. That's not reality, bro. So but Eminem like, ain't asking for it by talking like this, Stevie. Like, Stevie. Eminem wasn't asking for it by talking like this. The equivalent of a Benzino is like a KKK member being mad at black people. That's the equivalent, bro. That's how much he hates Eminem, dog. He's an outlier, bro. Wait, 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 wait. You did 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 Eminem not just drop a diss track? And, and I didn't, and I, and, and, and bro, I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Go to go to my reaction. I didn't like it. Look at the fucking comments in my fucking video, bro. They like, bro, fuck you. It's blah 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 blah. Bro, I can't, okay. I can't have my opinion. I did, I, I didn't, I didn't plug it. You know what I mean? Okay, so no, that's what I'm saying. So I don't think Benzino brought this upon himself this time. The last time that Benzino, no, Benzino had a brings on a, wait, one second, one second, one second. Yeah, yeah. The last time he had a conversation, he was on no jumper, willing to bridge the gap, said, I will sit down with them. Immediately after that, comes out of this record. So he was actually trying to sit there and make peace. He said the same thing when he came to our podcast years ago. He's like, I'll sit down with him, I'll talk with him. And then all of a sudden, a diss track is aimed at him. It reignites. Ooh, but he said that before the, he, he said the that before the diss track dropped. It was, it was already bubbling. It was already popping. Like that, what do you that, mean? that the shit he had with uh the fucking Adam 22? Yeah. That was after the diss track drop. No, it wasn't. Yes, it, was. it was before. It was no, before. it wasn't. Oh, my, my bad, my bad. I'm was... wrong, I'm wrong. I, I didn't see it until after it dropped, so my bad. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that in the totality of the shit, bro, like who has been who has talked who who has made Eminem the the, the 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 context of the conversation for the past twenty years. When have you ever seen Eminem talk about Benzino? I saw, he doesn't I saw do interviews. He don't when do he no, bro. About, when, bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk. 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 You already talk. Can I talk now? Can I talk? Can I talk now? All right. So look. So look. First of all. 
first of all, right, Eminem's not doing no interview with your dumb ass, all right? He's not doing no interviews with nobody. That That's bad? number one. That number, wait a minute, number, number, two, number two, number two, bad, number two, number two, number two, number two, and more importantly, all right, number two, and more importantly, right, at the end of the fucking day, right, I'm not in no YouTube world. I'm out here. A lot of my niggas, listen, I'm out here. I'm not with all this, all this right here. I'm not with this shit because we could get up in person if it's a real fucking problem. Let's do it, bro. I'm not with none let's of this. Let's do it, dog. Let's do it. When? Let's do well, it. Let's, well, let's do it now, then. I'll pull up on your <laughs> Where ass you now. At? Where you at? Where you at? I'm in Buckhead. Where you want me to come? I'm in, I'm in San Diego, dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You better be, nigga. <laughs> clown ass nigga. You clown ass nigga. <laughs> niggas kill me, man. You a fucking whole dick rider. I hate niggas like you. You the worst. You the worst kind. Bro, you the worst because you racist as fuck. Don't even what did you? Okay, if I'm racist, you like, what did you say? Society, what about the Eminem dog? racist you pick? What about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, dick rider. Hold on, dick rider. What about the Eminem racist take? What about that? Racist as fuck, bro. What about the Eminem? What about the Eminem? What about the Eminem? What about the reason why you hate Eminem is because he's white. That's it. What about the racist take? What about the racist take? Dickhead, what about the racist you gonna, So okay, all right, we, we we can take it there. We can take it there. All right, you gonna you gonna bring up again? Cause you brought it up, brought it up fucking twenty years ago. You gonna bring it up? You gonna bring it up again? I'm asking you, what about the racist tapes? How do you feel about it? He said that he said this shit when he was fucking 15, 16, 17. He wasn't Stevie. He lied, Stevie. Hold on. All right, let me tell you, bro. And we gonna bring it down, bro. Because you know what? This is what I gotta get my I I I gotta get myself together because I'm allowing a white man to come at you, and I and, and I got it I got to do better why so much because this is so, hold on hold on just let me race. talk Stevie, Stevie, Stevie let, let me talk, talk. talk let me talk Stevie right. like I gotta I gotta like this is what's happening bro like a white man is making two black men come at each other this is crazy let me explain something to you right. The two white dudes that brought the tape to us had been trying to sell the tapes. They told us he was 21. We did our homework on the Maxell tape. We did. We, we called the Maxell company and we got the serial numbers when the actual cassette was made. The man was 21. Okay. okay. So but, but, but hold on. But hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Stevie. Let's just say out of blue for, for argument's sake. Because that's what they had to say because it was a fucked up situation. There was too much money riding on him and them tapes came out. The reason the tapes came out because the white boys said that Eminem wasn't fucking with them after Paul got with him, went to Detroit, got about a bunch of black people. They said the nigga did not like black people. He grew up in St. Joseph, was he was Who 10 was years they? old. Who was Let they? me the two white boys that he was down with before he was down. So why are you giving Paul, these two white boys so much credibility when telling you the Can I just talk, Stevie? Stevie, you're gonna let me tell the story. Are you gonna let me tell the story, Stevie? All right, I got questions. Are you all right? That's fine, but let me tell the story and then question. All right. The two white, they, they was a group, Stevie. When Eminem was born in St. Joe, he, he, he was there till 10 years old. If your parents have nothing to do with black people and they're probably against black people, don't fuck with black people, that's what you're thinking. That man made a tape with these two white dudes called the ra Racist Rap Out. I heard it. All right. No, you didn't hear the whole thing because, because they sued us. Oh. We won a landmark case, but we could only use 30 seconds of it. And yeah. that's what we put in the source. Yes. It was way worse. Mm -hmm. Right, it was mm -hmm. calling niggas porch monkey spooks, all kind of shit, and, and they pretty much one of the one of the white boys is dead. I don't know if both of them are, but one of the white guys is dead. Are dead, all right. So, 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 for for them to show up at the Source magazine, broke as fuck, all right, and try they've been trying to sell the tape and said that Eminem turned against them was fucked up, all right. When we listened to the tape, the tape was horrible. Mm -hmm. The tape was horrible, mm -hmm. bro. Like I don't. Okay, so Universal Records and Jimmy Iovine, they had to hire people to spin this away. So they spun it, and they said that he was 16 and fell in love with a girlfriend, and the girlfriend broke his heart. Now we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be men right now, right? We know that 16 years old, this awkward-looking dude, wasn't talking to no girls. That's bro. my man. My, wait a minute, let me. I'm almost done, Stevie. My man Champ, I've seen pictures of this dude <clears throat> digging in his nose when he was 16 years old. This man wasn't falling in love with nobody. This man never had a black girlfriend. And on top of that, he never made a public apology. He made some stupid ass song called Yellow Brick Road. Stevie, did you, if you heard those, heard you wasn't, okay, you wasn't, a, like, especially the one about black women. Now, heard it. now, do you got sisters? Nah, but I got a mama. You got a grandmama too, right? Nah, she's not no more, but yeah. I, I, well, I know, I, but I, you I, had one. God bless her. God bless you. God bless her. I don't have mine either. And I don't have my mother. But, but, 
He made a whole song talking about black women are bitches, white women are better, they're whores, mm -hmm. and they're, and, and, all right? Like, no mm -hmm. no person has ever, ever, like, now, now don't get me wrong, because then the argument comes back, it's like, well, black artists say bitches, it's true, it's true, but things that are within our culture, like, when I say, yo, what's up, my nigga, it doesn't mean the same as when the white boy in my DM saying nigga. It, you know, we as black people have taken so much where we could take something that is negative on us and flip it back in their faces and be like, look, we could be cool with it, but y'all can't. Listen, listen, bro, like my Dave Mays was my partner for 18 years, a Jewish guy. I grew up under Italian men through my father. Now, though my mind was shaped from growing up in racist Boston as Eminem, mine was shaped as growing up in racist St. Joe's in, in Missouri. Well, our minds get shaped when when you, Boston, when I was young, Stevie, was racist as fuck, bro. If you can go online and go look in the 70s and just kids in the 70s to the 80s going to a school where it was all white, it was like, go look at all the marching and, and motherfuckers trying to turn the buses over and have to get police escorts. Bro, I'm, from Georgia. This, I'm, I'm, I'm old, so I've, I've experienced it myself. No, but you know, it's ill because my girl is from Atlanta and 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 she's like damn I didn't know Boston was that racist like bro like that's how I grew up but my father all his guys were Italian Irish Jewish and that's how I got to look at white people like damn maybe all white people ain't bad but all I'm telling you is that Eminem made that tape he made it now can people change their views of course and that's a great thing because hip hop bridged the gap it didn't take Eminem to do it. Hip hop did that. Way before, wait a minute, way before Eminem even came out, white people was buying into Run DMC long time ago. We was bridging the gap. It's only until white people said, you know what? We're bridging the gap with white people who, who, who fuck with niggas. But there's a whole bunch of white people around the country, like you said, the majority who don't like us, who don't fuck with us, but they still will buy his shit. Then what will world happen? World. Oh, they, oh, it is a sad world, but what will happen, Stevie? This is what, and this is the only reason I came at the situation. It wasn't per se me going at Eminem personally. It really was the machine that's trying to do what he did. I was in a position when I had the source magazine, a very powerful position, very powerful, right? All the labels had to come <laughs> fuck with me. Eminem actually was in our unsigned hype, all right? Like, so way before he got on and before he got signed. Right, Eminem, the, the the stars aligned. He got with one of the, if not the dopest black producer in history, my opinion. All right, and got with a machine. They pumped a lot, a lot of money into this kid. He got special treatment at MTV and everywhere else. And voila, we have this phenomenon. What happened was, a hundred years from now, and I've said this before, Stevie, we're all gonna be dead. All right, hip hop, oh. hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Stevie came at a time where. Black people were fucked up with crack and the guns and jails and courts and everything. And hip hop came and actually saved us. I believe it was sent from God. And, 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 and it brought white people to the black culture, which is a great thing, Stevie. You made a point to be like, hey, white people come. Yes, we want white people to buy into us. We want, we don't want problem. Black people generally can't be racist because we don't want problem. We just want shit to be fair. And it's still and it's still not fair. Landon, you see, is white. Me and Landon are cool as fuck. I would never disrespect Landon. And when I say crackers and everything, I mean no disrespect to Landon or nobody else. And it may seem like that, but I'm saying it to the to the to the white people who are racist. There is a, there is a lot. I'm talking millions of white people who have nothing to do with our culture, and they just want to be. And then a hundred years from now, once we're dead and gone. People are gonna go on history and they're gonna be like, damn, there was a, a period of time where black people were getting money. Look at this shit. Look at this. It, it's not like when they go to the cities or the 70s videos. They're gonna come to the 90s and 2000s and be like, man, these young black men were, but guess what? Someone's gonna have an argument and be like, yeah, but there was a white man who's the number one who rapped better than all of them. Same thing with Elvis. Do you think for one second a black man didn't play guitar? I know. Did you think? I know the history. Right, but but yeah, but look at what happened. What look at what happened. Like Elvis, Elvis now candle to Chuck Berry, bro. Ah man. There he is, there he is. Can I talk though, bro? Wait, what happened there? We can't hear you, Z. He 
he can't hear us. Like shit's on mute. Yeah, us ain't talking about nothing. I'm All right, so let me, step in, let me step in. Let me step in for a second. Uh, again, for everybody tuning in, we can't hear you, Zester. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Zester. I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot him a text. <laughs> All right, so listen, if you are watching right now, uh, what I'm trying to do is you know, get people together to have these types of conversations because I feel more growth will come from it, even when it gets fucking wild. And it does. It usually does get wild. Uh, it definitely got wild in here for a little bit. Now, if you are watching, again, this is the Dancing Project bringing out Stevie Knight and Benzino to, to sit in the room together. If you're watching on Stevie's page, head on over to the Dancer Project page. Let me get a subscribe, a like, you know what I mean? Just tune in. If you're watching from the Dancer Project page, I also want you to show the same love to Stevie Knight. Uh, because, you know, he's he's obviously doing a lot of dope shit. A friend of mine kind of, you know, he's like, yo, you got to uh, find out who Stevie is. He's dope. He sends me some links. I, f I find him. He's dope. Um, but because because we're bringing people over to the page, I got you. So just send me the cash apps in the in the uh, chat and I'm going to um, give somebody I'm going to pick one or two people to give a hundred dollars to just hashtag your cash app. And, and th that's it. It's that simple. I'm trying to figure it out because at the same time, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with Benzino's audio. Cause it's cut. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I got my headphones. I got my headphones. Come on. So what I was saying, listen, hold on. What I was just telling Stevie, I want to, I want to, if you got this, I apologize because what I, what I got to stop doing and, 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 and I'm do, we doing this in real time. I can't let, I can't be trying to hurt a black man over, a white man and again bro i am not racist i love all people it's just that you what you got to understand stevie is that there's a big part of america that is racist and that only lacks on to this guy that has been for 20 years i've been going through this shit now i have sat on adam and said yo bro i want to be cool and i want to go check eminem doesn't do interviews bro he don't do interviews and see my thing is if we're all if he's we're all doing this together and we are bridging it and he needs to come and speak on shit and, and, and answer these tough questions. Why did you do the racist tapes? Are you racist? He don't want to do that. And Paul Rosenberg and the rest are telling him don't do it. As long as as long as long Marshall keeps his mouth shut, they can keep making trillions of dollars off of him because they know once he does interviews and these questions get asked, he's going to crumble. Now, I've seen him on Mike Tyson, right? And, you know, Mike, Mike's my man. I was waiting for Mike to say some shit, but Mike didn't do it. And, it, and when I'm looking at Eminem, Eminem looked at petrified that, that damn, is he going to say some crazy shit because what the fuck am I going to do? And Mike didn't. And I don't know if Mike was asked not to, but I seen that interview and I seen how petrified this man looked. This man, I'm not saying, I, I can't say he's a bad or good man, but what I can say, he don't answer to nothing. You see how me and you are sitting there going at each other? This man don't give a fuck about me or you. So it's why okay. It's he okay. Shouldn't. He shouldn't. No. Why, why would he? But wouldn't you want him? Wouldn't you want him to come on your platform? Of course I would. But like I live in the real world. Like what benefit does that give him? He don't owe me shit. But I, I am observant of what's actually going on. And right, I but think, don't you think all hip hop, all all people should do interviews and everything? What like why does he get I excluded? Think, I think people should do what the fuck they want to do. Okay, so you don't think that Eminem should be doing interviews? I mean, you you don't think it's a problem that Eminem doesn't do no interviews with nobody? No, I don't. I think Eminem has done enough service in the industry to chill out right now. Like Ben, and, oh, like, and you got to be a hundred. You got to keep it real, bro. Like why the fuck? Jesus at the end of the day, Like why the fuck would Eminem come and speak to try to fix the issue that you have with him? Because every no, it's not me. He got he got an answer to them racist tapes, nigga. What are you talking about? Can I say something that I feel like Eminem should speak? Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, Miguel. When? When? Uh, I have to, I, 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 Benzino. I can send you fucking hella links where he's addressed this whole. When? Thing. When? I when? Can, when I, I, please I can, send me one. I can send them. Okay. Too. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Because I've never seen. Okay. So in the links, what, what is he saying in the links? I'm can you post the links? Can you post the links? I'm gonna send them to you, bro. Like, why would you post them? 
But why won't you post them? Why would I? I don't. I don't. Why would I? Why would yeah, I post them? Why would I post you. them if I don't believe Eminem is a racist? But every other black man is accounted for. But but uh, when, when every other black man gets gets, you see, thug fighting for his fucking life right now. Every other black it's man has to come on and be accounted for. Life because he did what he did. It's a Rico charge, bro. Like this motherfucker had a whole. How much longer do we got to do this, Miguel? Miguel, how much longer? We got it's eleven forty-seven. How much longer are we doing I mean, it? I mean, in all honesty, we got a lot out. I do want to add something real quick, though. Yeah, because look, it. I was good for me. We've been, you know, what I'm saying, I was good it's, for me. It's, it's good. But what I wanted right. to say, um, Stevie, is do do you feel that Eminem should speak for the for the to his fans that do get out of control? Just kind of be like you, you know, like is it, it would it would it not be very powerful? If he it were would to be powerful, up. but I can say the same let's, thing. Let's, like, if you guys want to bash Benzino, cool. Like, like imagine he got up one day and he's like, you know what? And he just made a statement like, yo, I know a lot of my fans. I always hear a lot of my fans, um, you know, and, and I don't believe those people to be my fans. However, he wants to word it. Uh -huh. like, attack Benzino and, and use... And it's always on the internet, but the motherfucker do that. In, let me tell you something. One thing about it... 20, all right, go ahead, Miguel. I'm good. My bad. Go ahead. The... the when when it, could he get out there and talk to the people and say, you know what, using the racism is foul. Y'all want to attack him. Y'all want to call him Benzino dog. Y'all want to bark. Y'all want to do all this shit. Cool. Leave his family and the racism out of it. If he were to say that, do you not feel like that would be powerful? I, I think it would be a mute point because <laughs> because if but but think think about the beehive. Think about the barbs. Like every. Celebrity so that has control over their everybody, bases. Everybody, every celebrity has a monster, has a monster following. following. They have radical ass fans that say the craziest shit. So if you're a person that attacks their artists the way Benzino has been attacking Eminem, he's gonna get the most radical shit all the time. So it doesn't matter what the fuck Eminem says. Even if Eminem addresses exactly what the fuck Benzino wants. Eminem to address, it's not gonna change the way these motherfuckers feel about Benzino. It doesn't matter. Why won't you post? Why won't you post the links where he where he apologized? I, so the only well, reason I, why I, the only I, reason why I would post anything was to, to appease Benzino, which makes no sense. Send them to me after. All right. I post them. All right. I don't mind posting. I bet you he won't. Who me? I bet you he won't send them to you, bro. Uh, hey, okay. hey, Benzino, go to your go to your phone. Go to Spotify. Go to Spotify right now. Okay. Well, I can't because it's gonna cut off the thing. I'll, I'll check when we're done. Oh, well, go to go to go to Spotify. Go to Royce the Five Nines album. Go to Allegory and click on Perspective. Bro, bro, bro listen, bro. We don't want to hear no dumb shit. Like we want a motherfucker to get it's in person. And be, not, bro. We want listen, bro, bro. No, bro. No we're way. not trying to hear no. Listen, the black community don't want to hear no fucking music. It's not. We music. want to understand. It's not music. It's not music. Right. It's, well, it's, so it's what? Eminem, it's Eminem it's what? talking. It's Eminem talking. Address. Oh, shit. okay, okay, okay. And what is he saying? What did he say? Please no, tell listen me. Listen to it. I'm not gonna say shit. Listen to it. Go to go to fucking spot. But I'm asking you, Stevie. Can no, you just tell no, me a couple of things? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say, bro. You fix it. Okay. Oh, hey, yo, Landon. Hey, Landon. Hey, Landon. Can you go to Spotify and listen? To what he's can, can, hey, Larry, can you can you get it in right now? Like, oh, what no, is don't do it because it's, don't do it because no, 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 yeah, let's do it now. Let's do it now. I want to do it now. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. No, I want to hear it. Hey, Miguel, hey, Miguel, hey, Miguel. I want to hear it right now. I want to hear it right now. No, I want to hear it right now. No, no, Miguel. I want it. This is your platform, Miguel. I want to hear it right now. Play it, Landon. YouTube will demonetize the video. Man, we don't want to hear that shit. Landon, play that shit, bro. Uh, what, what am I looking I'll, up? I'll remove it. I'll remove it after. Or, or is it not good for your platform, Stevie? Because you know more. It's not me. good for his platform, and he knows it. No, no but it does cause I was not when I volunteered the information, bro. Yeah, no, it does cause Right? So play it, Landon. Play it. No, I don't want it to cause a flag or an issue on, on Stevie's <laughs> Man, program. how the fuck is it going to cause a flag with him saying good things or trying to make no, up for no, the no, shit no, that no. he said? It's not copyrighted it's, material. It's, it's, if you play it on this podcast, if you play it on this on this. Man, it's this shit is monotone. stupid as hell, bro. How come this man didn't fucking get in front of a camera and apologize to black women? He don't owe you shit, Benzino. I just said apologize to black. I just said apologize to black women. Did you just he hear what the fuck I said? He apologized in Yellow Brick Road. He apologized to black women. Are you, right, bro? How much longer we got for this, Miguel? We can end it right now, bro. This motherfucker's not receiving all right, all right, anything. Right. Bro. We can cut it off, bro. This mother—it's like talking to a fucking wall. It's like, You're hey, a dick. It doesn't either. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I was ready to pull up on your bro. bitch ass. Eminem is white. Yeah. He's fucking racist. Yeah. It is what it is. All right. 
Well, okay. Then, that, then that's what it is then. Are we done? <laughs> Damn, I, I was hoping it went a little bit better and we were able to sit down and find some sort of... I mean, there was some dope shit said. At the end of the day, there was some dope shit said. that I feel like it's super hard... Hey Miguel, hey Miguel, hey Miguel, where you see hey Miguel, it, I, hey Miguel, let me ask you a question, Miguel. Yeah, hey Miguel, ahead. do you do you think he should have said something in person, Miguel? You personally? Yes. All right. I do. Right. And why? Why is that, Miguel? I feel like it. I, I feel like it would be very powerful if he did, and I feel like if anyone were to do that today, if we ever heard, like it doesn't. A lot of us imagine Trump. A tape came out about Trump, and he was saying that he'd have to answer to it. He'd have but, to. But Eminem has answered to it. He answered to it 20 years ago. Okay, so this is... The, the, the way he answered it back then was very awkward. No, Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Told, Thank you, Miguel. Miguel. Tell me about that. Thank you, Miguel. 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 It's, it's a song that he said he was sick some bullshit. Miguel, should he have got in front of a camera and answered to it? Yes or no, Miguel? I will say that the, 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 what he's talking about, when Benzino is talking about, I feel like I, I feel the same on that. And I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not against Eminem at all. I'm a Thank fan you. of Eminem. Um, but what I'm saying is it wasn't a valid explanation. It Thank wasn't. You, it was covered up a little bit, and that was proven. Thank you. So Thank like, you, bro. It, it, it actually was proven in court. Thank you, bro. You know what I Thank mean? Thank you, bro. It did go to court, right? Thank you, bro. And it was proven, and they, yeah, yeah, and they lost, and they had, and they had pay, they had to pay y'all fucking what lawyers when they lost. His, his initial response was actually proven to be a lie in the court. You talking about so, the initial response and Yellow Big Road is proven to be false? No, no, it, Yellow. Listen, listen, bro. We went to court. He wasn't 15 when he wrote it. He admitted he was 21. It's all like we won the case because they tried to get us for copyright infringement after they said it wasn't even him. But the bottom line is this: that Yellow Brick Road shit just um, um, pushed the lie of Jimmy and them saying that he was 16. He did not get in front of a camera like every other black man has to, every other man has to, and say what well, I, I was wrong. I was young. I shouldn't have never said it. He, he's not held I, I, to the, I, I, he, get that. I, I get that. I get that. I get that. I, I'm, and I, I'm, I'm, I want to minimize the hostility, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand your perspective. I understand what you're saying. And if that's what you think Eminem should do to make certain people feel better about it. That's how, it. That's how Miguel thinks, too. No, I said certain people. I said certain people. I, I, I get it, bro. But like in the re. We can ask the chat. Take, too, take, let me talk. It's, it's a, taking, a, yeah, taking, a, taking, a, taking a few steps back, bro. Like, even if I was to entertain the fact that Eminem himself was oh. racist at a certain point in his life, 21, 22, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, mm -hmm. you're still holding someone accountable to the extent that Benzino is trying to get the culture to go against Eminem at this point. I just want him to... I just I just want like, to say, you, like, no, you, it's, you it's, it's 22 like, years are you, are you later. Fuck with, are you going to fuck with Zimmerman in 30 years? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I, I didn't fuck with him in the first place, though. No, I know. I'm just no. saying, like, when, when Thank you. Whoa, thank it, you, Miguel. See, now Miguel, Miguel I'm fucking with you. Now I'm fucking with you, bro. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. For a lot of thank people. You. I, but I could flip that whole dynamic on you. Like, is there things that you said or did 20 years ago that you wouldn't do now that people wouldn't approve of. I'm sure yeah, I, I, I believe the most important thing is change. So you know what I'm I saying? Believe, so like, yeah, so I, have, like bro, I have changed and I have grown. And I'm not saying for people to hate Eminem. I'm not saying with that comparison, with with that comparison, you're like you that was a hell of a comparison. That was a he got you on that one, buddy. I'm saying this it was he got wave the white flag, buddy. He got you on that one. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one, Miguel. Yeah, all I'm saying, is, is, and you're right, I do hear what you're saying as far as like the you're comparison. You're talking about murder and yeah. somebody yeah. saying I something. I hear that. I do hear that. And I could have used something different than murder. You're right, but I, I, it was just something off the top. But what I'm saying is most people will not forgive a lot of people for their racist stuff. It's Eminem's superstar that allows that to be forgiven. If he wasn't that much of a superstar, it would not be forgiven. If Machine Gun Kelly went out and did that shit right now, he's done forever. It's valid. You know, and that's all I'm saying. So, like, Eminem is such a huge superstar that he's able to overcome that, and he has been. And it's and 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 he can be. Hold it, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it, 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 hold it,
because niggas don't fuck with Eminem. They don't support that shit. He, if, 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 if black, black people would, listen, he's made money off of our culture, bro. At the end of the day, he should have got in front of a camera. He still should get in front of a camera and he should apologize. Period. I disagree. Nah, you said I, no. I just at, at thirty years later, bro, yeah. I disagree. You trying to hold some damn? Or something. But but no, but you Benzino, said he said Benzino, 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 Benzino. You was out here fucking sniffing fucking angel dust and heroin and shit in nineteen. Oh man, oh Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. you it's call off chop. You call off soul, Stevie. You call off soul. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, bad I, for I, you, I Stevie. I actually feel bad for you. I actually feel bad for you. I actually feel bad for you now. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you, Stevie. Bro, you sitting here trying to. You sitting here trying to. You sound just sound, Stevie. You sitting here trying to come bro. You sound just sound, bro. I want to get a question out before you go. I want to get a question out before you go. Uh, Z, yes, <laughs> there, 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 there's a there's a tape. Everybody's saying there's a tape right now. They're trying to sell for twenty thousand. They got you didn't even diss them. Apparently, bro, 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 bro. I've already said that I was in the studio. I was recording. I was in there with guys. I wrote the shit, and I was giving. And, and guys gave me a few lines. It happens all the time. Ghostwriter, just admit it. All right, listen, bro, bro. Bro, 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 that's, bro, that's, bro, that's bro, shit. bro, that's bro, no, 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 Ness, Ness produced, Ness, I rap better that's than you, shit. I rap better than you, bitch nigga, <laughs> you bitch nigga, I rap better than you. I bet you what don't. You do? I bet you what don't. You I didn't try. I you? bet you I read better than what, you. What, 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 <laughs> all right. So how about this thing? So how about how about this put up money? I got ten thousand. I got ten thousand on a rap battle between the both of you. <laughs> I'm with it. What are we doing? What are we doing, Stevie? Oh, bro. I, 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 what's up? Are, are you gonna take the challenge? I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with it. All right. So I need you to write something. Let's go. What are we gonna are, do? But, but, but are you gonna write it though? Yes, I'm a, me and you, me, listen, me and you can get in the studio together or I could, we could do it on Zoom where we both write it in the studio. It'll take some hours. I'll write mine, you write yours, and then we can settle and then we can end all this. How about it? Or, or, or I can fly you both out here. Or I can fly you both Or I can fly you both Well, it is going to end, Steve, because I don't know you, and, 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 no, and, but, and to be honest, not, but I'm not important. This after, I, I'm, I'm never going to get I'm, I'm, in the studio. You both uh, sit across from each other, and the victor gets ten beans. I mean, I, I'll chew his ass up for that ten thousand. Pause. <laughs> Look how mad I got him. Hey, <laughs> I don't, know, I, hey Benzino, hey. real shit, dog. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a, a, a explosive conversation, dog. But I will commend you I, on your. I don't have nothing against you, Stevie. Stevie. I got nothing Stevie against you, man. Dog. We just had. Listen, I got nothing you got against you, bro. Politics, bro. And, it, and that's all right. And we can agree. We can agree. All right. To end this with no hostility. Like I told you any names or whatever, even I, like I keep, I'm telling you, I apologize. Like I don't, I don't got nothing against you, Stevie. Yeah. And I hate, I hate getting triggered and calling you names. You've been respectful. I was wrong calling you names. All right. And I got to stop that and I got to do better. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's, it, it's a, it's a, it's a touchy situation, bro. And you have your, listen, you got your views, you've held your view strong, and we're going to leave it at that. I got to respect, you respect me and my views, I respect you and your views. We, a black men, can agree to disagree, and my tomorrow the sun will shine on my day, the sun will shine on your day, and we can move on. Boom. Yeah. Y'all went, went neck and neck at each other for a while, pause, and... You know, I was just throwing the, throwing, the, throwing the punches out. Oh, there. Jesus. You know Christ. what I'm doing. So, so, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But let me ask y'all something, right? Let me ask y'all something, right? Yep. Okay. The next jokes, the next jokes, the next jokes, right? Yeah. But y'all do, y'all do realize, like, now you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you know, I'm just fucking with you because you're about to. No, I know, but I know, but yeah, but, but since you brought it up, yeah. I just have to defend myself. Go ahead. Absolutely. Like, like again, y'all do realize that, I mean, I love my woman, but I'm, I'm, I've dated some of the baddest women on, on this planet, right? Well, I, and, and, and they ain't never, ever said anything. I've actually got, they've never said anything about my neck. So when another man says stuff about my neck, it's just, the word weird is being used too much, right? But as men, we shouldn't care about the way we look. The only way that we should look, we should care, is what women think. When it comes to a man's appearance, 
whatever how he looks like, men, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we, we really shouldn't care. That's just my opinion. That's how I was raised. I, like, like God made us all different shapes and sizes, right? Unless you're into men, then you should care about that. But other than that, like, I've never commented on a man's appearance, his neck, his you nose, know, his you ears. Ain't, you ain't never roasted a motherfucker for having a big forehead? Never. I haven't. I haven't. You ain't never roasted a motherfucker? But nope. I'm saying, Probably I, 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 never, I, I, never. I see, bro, I see what you're saying. No, bro. I hear you, Stevie. I hear what you're saying, Stevie. And I watch, I watch people do it. And I understand it's a part of having fun. I'm just saying I've never done it. Like, I've never, I've never, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, people use that. Again, people use, are going to use anything to try to get me riled up or to make me look crazy. That one's been around for years, right? So I'm just saying that since my neck is, is always, it gets brought up or whatever, that it, it's never really stuck on me because it's never stopped me, like, from, 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 from dealing with beautiful women. And to me, and to me, and no, no, but no, but to me, no, but to me, the, to me, that that is the only thing that when it comes to appearance that counts and you know it's not like you just joking with your friends the neck joke is a is a this is a big fucking thing that the whole world gets on like m m and m it's not touchy because like i said women don't have a problem with my neck like and to me that that's the only thing that matters when it comes to Bro, appearance you know, i guarantee you if you ever piss one of them bitches off and they don't fuck with you no more they're gonna they go and they want to fucking make your ass feel like shit. but i've already got the pussy by then but i'm saying but the fact that they bring it up comes it, it, it refutes the whole point they're not gonna say anything no, to you when they fucking with you no no all right well, well, well i'm saying then if, if 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 my neck was a problem they wouldn't have fucked with me at the, in the whole um, beginning about what a motherfucker look like, bro. If you got what the fuck they want, they gonna get it. You you know that. Bro. Oh, what? what do you mean they got what they? What, what do you mean they got what they? What, bro, what, what, what if they got? Like what you mean? Like that's, you know how what if they got? Move, bro, they attracted to the fucking status, the allure, the personality. They a got. status? I've been bagging bad bitches for years, bro. What do you mean? Like I don't know about what you two niggas do, oh, but I've been bro. bagging bad bitches. Oh, 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 oh. You seen me? You know how I operate. Come on now. Bro, you know. I'm just saying, I don't. I, Benzino, you know, Benzino. You know, if a bitch, if a I don't. Bitch, I don't. If a bitch, listen, if a bitch listen, fucking with you, listen. she's not going to disrespect you. Period. I know, but if she's fucking with you, she likes what she sees, bro. That's cap. That's cap. Well, oh, I mean, oh, like if you got. Like what she sees. Shit. So there, there, ain't, there, ain't, there ain't no motherfucking bitches out here that's trying to just come up on fucking fat, oh, ugly motherfuckers for what they can provide them. Yeah, but that's I'm not, I'm not a fat, ugly no, motherfucker. I'm just based on what you just said. You said that they like what they see. They I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm only speaking from, from my, from me, yeah. from me. Bitches I'm not speaking bitches, for a bitches, fat, bitches, ugly bitches, motherfucker. Bitches will deal with enough to get what they want from, from. All right, yeah, but I know, but I'm, but, but that, I, that's not my case. Like, I've been bagging bitches right before I was any type of celebrity. Like, again, yeah, it's just, I'm not looking. Of I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't have a problem with my neck, and women don't have a problem. With my neck. That's until all they until they di until they done with you, then they bring that shit up. I, I mean, who's bringing up my neck? What woman has brought up my neck? I don't, I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in your shit. You just I, 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 exactly. You just. You just Yo, yo. Anyway, bro, anyway, I, 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 I get it, dog. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Zeno, what's your, what's your, what's your final take on all this? This shit just went down. Nothing I'm happened. Done. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, I'm about to go, about to go <laughs> watch a movie with my, with my beautiful black woman, smoke a blunt, and just relax. I mean, you know, I mean, I knew the conversation was gonna be spicy. Right, yeah. I and, and I was I got into this conversation like I'm a chill, calm down. You, you it, see, bro. I started, but I couldn't help. You can't help. I, 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 it, it's it's hard. It's you, you stands are hard. Your stands are hard, bro. You stands are hard. I know. Hey, Benzino, are you a stand? That's what I'm saying. Are you a stand? That's one thing I can relate with you, bro. The stands can be vicious. I realize. Are you a stand, Stevie? Are you a stand? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Bro, I don't, it, it, I don't fuck. I think bro. you are, but Stevie, I think, I think you are, Stevie. No, 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 no. Why? Because I, why, 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 why not? Because I, because I support Eminem. Isn't that what stands are? No, no, stands, stands, no, listen to me. Stands. What the stand? No, stands don't give a fuck. What the fuck Eminem does. You don't, right. Stevie, this whole interview just proved that. No, it's not. You don't give a fuck. 
No, it's Cindy, not. No, you just, no, 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 you no, just, no, you, you don't give a fuck. You just, charge. you just prove, you just prove that you don't give a fuck what he tries and you're still gonna support him. How? That's a stand. How? I mean, How? You gotta, okay, why, why are like the people who watch the interview decide this thing? Bro, let me finish what I'm saying. If 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 I was okay. around, I wasn't I wasn't pip to Eminem during Fuller's Pride days. If I was around during that time, my nobody first, was. I, yeah. But listen to me. Let me finish my statement. I, I, I didn't I didn't get hip to Eminem until four years ago, right? And all I know is what I know at this point, and what I've researched historically throughout this whole fucking Eminem shit. The the mindset I had five years ago. <laughs> If I was around during Fuller's Pride shit, that would definitely influence my perspective much much differently, dog. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I, me and Stevie Knight, I cannot. It, and it depends. There's levels to it. Like you compare Zimmerman, I, I'm, I'm never gonna fucking look at a motherfucker different for shooting a motherfucker. Yeah. But but I can't hold a motherfucker accountable from what I perceive this motherfucker saying 15, mm. 16, even if it's 21, it's 30 years ago, bro. How many times have you changed as a person? How 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 has your personality changed? How was your being changed over thirty years ago, bro? Like just that's how I look. So why at won't he? So why won't he just come out and just say that? But why does he need to? Because Benzino wants him to. Because everybody else. No, because everybody else has to. Steve. We live in a world. Else? Who's everybody else? Live, you know. I know because you're on because you love Eminem. No, but Fuck who's everybody, everybody else? Who's everybody? You, else? you are. You are Kingston. No, but who, that's your who, name. who's everybody else, though? Who's Stevie? everybody else? Give me one person the, that didn't. The black community, Stevie. The black no. community. Tell there, me, there's tell people, me a person, there's, there's a guy named John in the chest that just said, you know, c complexion wise, you're, you know, you're, you're a lot lighter than Stevie. And he's saying that you, uh, you, Miguel, all right, Miguel, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't give a fuck. I'm done, Miguel. Miguel, I, I'm, again, we, we, we was on a good path. Yeah. Again, we're not, we're not. We're not gonna stop stupid on shit right now. Are you are you're light skin too? Are you white, Miguel? Huh? Are you white? I said you're about as light as me. Are you white? You can say yourself white? No, 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 no. All right, then what the fuck the please, bro? I like you with somebody bro, we don't I don't bro this bro, 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 you bro, bro, you don't have to you don't have to bring you don't have to bring up foolish shit what foolish people say, bro. Like bring up some intelligent shit. I'm just bro. saying they paid the same. I don't I know I know I know you're just saying I know Stevie. See, I know I know Miguel, Miguel. Like bring up some intelligent shit, bro. Like you just said some intelligent shit. Now it's back to the somebody no, said. I'm, like I'm, I'm I don't like, like that's, Miguel, no Miguel, that's 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 that's, 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 that's Miguel, that's that's it's ignorant. It's ignorant, bro. It's ignorant, it's ignorant, bro. I, I'm just paid fifty dollars. Miguel, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about that. Tell him to suck my dick. He just lost his fifty dollars. Dummy. Well, send me fifty next time, dickhead. Hey John, you're a whole dickhead. Send some more money, stupid. They're saying that Trump did more for black people than Benzino did. Let me tell you, you know, check this out. Let me, let me, again, let me let me explain this, right? Again, racist white people. Um, <laughs> what what has what has Trump done? The PPP loans was coming in anyways, and you got to pay him back. What the fuck has Trump done other than that? And he didn't even do that. That was coming way back from Obama. What the fuck has Trump done for black people? You you fucking racist fucks. How how did that come out? How did I hear that? That's Landon. It's got to be somebody. I heard. I heard the audio playback. Are we done, Miguel? All right, the guys. Hey, you're free. To, you're free to leave at any time you want. We appreciate you for tuning in. All right, all right fellas. Uh, I'll you up if you're all right. All right, Landon, could you uh, align us a little bit better over here so I could talk to Stevie for a second? Yeah, he's got. He's on it. Damn. Hey, I hear hey, somebody's was, audio. Was it, was it what you expected, first? bro? Is that your audio playing in the back that huh? I can hear? Yeah, I don't know. I just hear it, it might be. I hear it. No, because I hear Landon clicking around. So I hear his audio. Landon, mute your mic. It's probably me. Are you clicking? Not anymore. Oh, OK. All right, but I don't hear the echo anymore. Anyways, what do you feel like? Um, what do you feel like how, how it went? Because you, I'm, you I, can I ask. I think me. it was very entertaining. For yeah. I was watching. But pro productivity, nah. I feel like he feels the same way I feel, dog, because he's so convicted in his stance on things that doesn't matter what the fuck anybody says to him about anything, he's stuck on the way he views things. And y'all were able to make a, a good a, a good few points to me that I hadn't 
thought about before, but at the end of the day, in 2024, it doesn't change the way that I view things now. You know what I'm saying? Outside of fucking murder and, and raping somebody, bro, like, I, it's kind of difficult for me to hold somebody accountable for something they said said 30 years ago, bro. If somebody was to fucking record me saying some shit that I said when I was 16, 17, 19, 21, the age I am now, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? That... Four, five years ago, I was a different motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, and then on top of that, and on top of that, the way Benzino was shisty because this was already addressed 20 years ago. I guess it wasn't addressed the way Benzino wants it to be addressed, and you wanted to be addressed. You feel like he should have made like a public statement to everybody, which I understand. But I mean, the you, no one gets to dictate how things happen. He did make reference towards it in the goddamn song, which was and and that. Mind you, I wasn't around during that fucking time. Like, the the old me, if I was around during that time and I heard that shit, I would understand why black folks would have that amount of venom towards him at that point. All that shit would make sense. But if you're trying to tell, you're trying to convince me that Eminem is a fucking racist now, get the fuck out of here, bro. He's done too much for the black community. He's done too much for fucking hip-hop. He's, bro, I, I would argue that he's uplifted hip-hop and and if. I would argue that he's uplifted hip hop and the black community more than most through his efforts in hip hop, bro. Because he's 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 put more money in everybody's pocket by his existence. Yeah, I think uh, money means something, right? Let me let me tell you where I'm coming from, though. I'm coming from a point of trying to understand another individual's viewpoint on it. Yeah. When I sat there and I listened to Benzino speak on it, he was talking about what went on in his time and also. Uh, uh, saying, you know, this wasn't just like a little part of a song. It was, mm-hmm. it was an hour tape yeah. that, that they were not able to, uh, you know, it, in the court ruling that you could display it, but you can only use a portion of the song. You can't use the entire tape because mm-hmm. they weren't going to let that happen to Eminem, right? Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, he had good attorneys. He had a lot of money. He has a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So he was able to fight a lot off. And he was able to say, you know, he, that, at the, he was able to prove that he was 20 one years old at the time, not mm-hmm. 15, right? Mm-hmm. And so for him and for those people, I, th- I, I go back to when I'm talking to Charleston White and, and he's sitting here, you know, we have him we have, we have him up on our show a lot. And something that he said to me, that it was a conversation we were having. And I'm like, you know, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Mm-hmm. I used to, you know, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, on this platform a lot. And I had to change that because I felt like, you know what, there are there is a certain demographic of people that I do offend by saying that. And Charleston was like, you know, thank you for changing that because I, I stopped saying that in episodes a while back, a long while back. And he's like, you know, because somebody's grandmother will appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Right. And he was like, that's what people don't understand is like that. It's not a it's OK. You know, Maybe you're not offending everyone, but you are offending people that have gone through that. You know what I mean? And so when I think about things like that, I know there's a certain demographic that does want to be spoken to. Yeah, a, a lot of time has passed. You know what I mean? And ever and people do change. What you're saying is perfect, perfectly understandable. I'm not mad at him, Eminem. I'm not looking for an apology. I'm not one of those people. Yeah. I'm coming from the point of understanding that there are people that do want that. Yeah. Maybe that's you know is uh a little bit extra about it, but I also did have plenty of conversations with him where I could see him visibly get frustrated that like they're attacking his daughter, they're attacking his son. Mm-hmm. And he spoke, he, he came up here recently and said like, yo, I, I, I do have like issues and you could hear him ad- addressing it here, mm-hmm. you know, like mental health because of all of it. Yeah. And it, it has taken over, but it's, it's for him when he's his window, when he looks out his window, he's attacked. And he's like, damn, I can't. Every time I go have an interview, they're like, Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. Every time I fucking go, at it, like, it's, I have to talk about it. I go to an airport, like, fuck you, Benzino. Eminem is the GOAT. He, he has to deal with that. And but did he bring it up? Like, you don't feel like he volunteered to put that target on his back by the decisions he made in the past? He fucked with, a, he fucked with an extremely... You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, I can't be empathetic for a person that volunteers to get that heat on him, bro, because he came with that energy back then, bro. You fucked with Eminem's money with the fucking source and trying to discredit this man as an artist. And, and you know the amount of influence and power and control music has over people. And then you take a motherfucker like Eminem, 
bro, like you fucking with people's gods at that point. So like he volunteered to put this fucking target on his back so he doesn't live in reality, bro. Like everything he hears negative towards him in regards to Eminem is probably the most vicious shit. Like who on this earth do you think hears more racist hatred at themselves more than Benzino? I mean, you're not wrong, right? Like there, there is a lot of self-inflicted wounds in what happened with this entire issue uh, between Benzino and Eminem. There's a lot. You know what Most I mean? There's the majority. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally impossible to deny it. It's there. Um, I, I'm me personally, I'm a fan of Eminem. I don't listen to his music now. I'm not a fan of his more recent tapes. Yeah. However, he he has done a lot. I do agree, you know, through money and through influence, he's done a lot for the communities. And maybe that's him right in his wrongs, right? Because again, he, I do believe that he changed. I do not believe that he's racist today. I don't. I, I believe just have that. I just have difficulty holding a motherfucker to this standard at the point where he's 51 trying to make him apologize to the to the minority keeping it real it's the minority of people that are like, pissed at the point of a benzino where they need to hear an, an apology but i do think a conversation would be powerful it would be powerful but he doesn't owe that to anybody like he not losing he, like the people that fuck with maybe him he opens himself up to more if he were to have a yeah, conversation the, yeah but i mean he not missing out on no meals about that shit bro like if he come if if if, if it bothers him that much he would have said something but at the end of the day it's not gonna change anything bro it's like he that because it's not racist bro it's impossible it's impossible even if i was entertaining the fact that he was at one point racist i mean i'm a I, listen I'm a, now, bro. I'm a, if a motherfucker was to like hold me accountable for things that i said or did when i was 21 right now bro like i wouldn't be able to walk out in public yeah you know what for I'm sure saying? like you listen listen i completely listen, agree with you this, though you got you got you got black dudes out here that will talk the most nasty sadistic shit about about black women Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right now. And they're not going to get this fucking type of energy, bro. I guess because they... It, it'll it. never hit. It'll never hit as if it It's will. not going to hit, but it's the same like, shit. Like, it's the same shit. Yeah. They are targeting a demographic. Maybe you have a black guy talking about white people a certain way. Or a white white woman talking about black people a certain way. It's the same shit. But, like, we're talking about something that happened decades ago. Right? If it, if, if it happened right now, okay, I'm, I'm looking at it different. Like, oh, what the fuck, M? Come on, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? But at this well, point, for him, bro, it's happening that right now. That's why I said it's just a difference of perspective. Where he's sitting at and where you're he's sitting living, at. He's living in the past, bro. I will say this though. I I don't I don't live there. Um, obviously, um, be, being from Buffalo, New York, uh, Eminem has done a lot for our community by bringing Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, Fifty Cent, you know, like gun. No, well, just specifically people from yeah. Buffalo. Um, and. and and you know, having having my people from Buffalo be put on for me it was like, like Conway made a statement about it. He's like, I can never look at M wrong. That's my brother for life. Well, can, com you know? can compare, compare, compare people, rappers right now that put on for hip hop, in the in the in the genuineness and authenticity of hip hop more than Eminem right now. What was the question? Like, compare, compare like, compare, like, like who is it? Like, Eminem loves this shit, bro. Like he's a Absolutely. student. Yeah. He 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 fucking salutes people. He he salutes the OGs in the game, and he's in tune with the newest motherfuckers, the battle rappers and shit. And and puts this motherfucker put Young Ma on his last album, bro. Before she was bubbling, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker lives and breathes hip hop more than anybody. He puts on. I won't say he does more than anybody. No, I won't I say, say he lives and breathes it more than anybody, bro. Like trying to represent so it in like the truest form because right now guys. hip hop is in such a fucking terrible space. You know what I'm saying? As far as people that get the publicity. Say it again. You think he lives and breathes it more than a Nas? At at, at this moment, I, I'm just going based off how people project themselves. Like maybe Nas lives and breathes it in his head, but his projection and how he talks about it and how any, any, he, and he's, he's lying. Benzino said Eminem doesn't do interviews. He's done plenty of interviews, but all he talks about is hip hop. And he talks about the, the OGs and he talks about the newest motherfuckers. He talks about this current status. It's always hip hop oriented, bro. None of that fuck shit. None of the bullshit. There's a lot of those. There's, there's your Wu Tang that does the interview. So I, I won't say it's, more than everybody else, but yeah, he's definitely a hip hop head to the core. To the core, bro. Yeah. To the core. Like, I, for me personally, I ain't never seen nobody like it that will salute motherfuckers and acknowledge motherfuckers and talk like he's so tapped. In. I also say I don't, I don't, 
paid that much attention to Eminem. Like, well, I, you know picture, I, mean? I, picture, I picture everybody. That's what I do on YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm, I'm extremely tapped in. And if you compare yeah. it to like the most trending shit in hip hop right now, it's just worlds yeah. apart. You know, but you got you still got your J. Cole's, your Kendrick Lamar's. Yeah, yeah, you know? they, no, they, they, yeah, they, 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 uh, they do it within their skill set. But like, I'm telling you, anytime, I ain't gonna say anytime, but there's multiple times that I just I've seen Eminem have interviews, talk to people. And he's always big up in people in the past, his predecessors, people that fucking influenced him and the motherfuckers now. I, I have never seen anybody out here right now doing that shit on a larger scale as Eminem. I've, I, for the most, I've seen J. Cole and, Ken, and, and, and Kendrick and, and ASAP Rocks and all these motherfuckers salute Eminem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like Eminem's steady putting on hip hop. All he gives a fuck about is hip hop. That's it. Yeah, but when you look at what Jay Z is doing, it might not be the same to you, but he's, he's changing the landscape. Of it, yeah, he, you know, with Jay Z. Jay Z is um, Jay Z is giving people the opportunity to realize the reach that yeah. it's just sometimes it's difficult to see because yeah. of what people yeah. are doing. Yeah. I again, I don't agree with that, but I hear you, and I definitely agree that um, he's he's one of those ones, right? Like you can't you can't knock Eminem. Is he and is he in my top ten? Uh, well, I don't know if I'd put him in my personal top 10. Yeah. Would, I ever, would I ever get mad at somebody saying he's their number one? Hell no. He's earned it. You know what I mean? I think he's I done you, a lot. I bet you I could change your mind, though. Okay. You, the floor is yours. No, I'm talking about, like, off camera, not right now. It was, it was, oh, so that Eminem, is, that Eminem is the greatest ever? No, I'm, you said he's not in your top 10. I bet, you I, I bet you I can get you. I bet you I can get him at least in your top five. I don't know. I, 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 I'm a huge hip hop head. I love music. Yeah. I used to make music. Yeah. I just, my personal preference, yeah. I can tell you right off the jump, I could go Tupac, yeah. Big Pun, yeah. EMX, yeah. Oz, yeah. Jay-Z. But how do you rate them though? How do you rate them? Like, what's your what's your main measuring bar as far as because to me, for me, for like, me what, what I, I, I guess let me let me let me give you an example or a comparison. Like my goats are entirely different from my favorites. Like my favorite rapper of all time is Nipsey Hussle, but he can he can't I, I, rap at all with fucking Biggie or M or Nas. You know what I'm saying? But like as far as uh, the the I think there's objective greats in this shit, and if Eminem is not on your top ten, I can convince someone that will be honest about yeah. their reception of when the you're time. talking about all the categories does he does he fill the boxes absolutely yeah he definitely 100 can fill every single box yeah. could, whether you like him or not it's kind of it's irrelevant it's like a, i'm trying to rhyme scheme he could put the um the, the multi-syllables yeah. the word oh. play he definitely checks all the boxes i just prefer from other people a lot more so yeah. when i hear it, so I can't when I hear it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't hit me the same yeah yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. I got a Nipsey Hussle, somebody I'd put over. J uh did I say J. Cole? Yeah. J. Cole was somebody I would I would put over him. Um Joe Budden is yeah. somebody over Eminem. It's totally subjective in that regard. But I just I think objectively, like if aliens were coming to fucking planet Earth and try to figure out what the fuck hip hop was, you can't have that conversation without putting Eminem on that fucking list, regardless if you fuck with him or not. Nah, you got to go to the old school, though. You got to go to, like, the Big Daddy Canes, you know what I mean? Uh, the Rock Him, you know what I mean? The uh, Slick Ricks you know, of the game. Uh, just so many more that I can't even think of because I'm trying to write it off. But if we go all the way back, you know, there's a lot. It's a, lot. It's a sum. It's a sum. You go back to a fucking... Uh, yeah, he be you go, he, back, he, you go back to Sugar he, Hill he Gang. Out, and you come up, you go, one of the Avengers. Yeah, you go back to Sugar Hill Gang and you, yeah. and you fucking put it at Cardi B. Like, Eminem is in the fucking middle. Yeah, he's yeah he's 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 in the mix. You know sure. So like, there's no way you can have a conversation about hip hop objectively and not, bro. Eminem has, if not, has murdered or if not made it debatable with all your top rappers, bro, on a fucking feature. Yeah, but that's also depends on how you look at it too. Because when I listen to Renegade, although he although he was dope, my personal opinion, I thought Jay Z's verses was better. I give you, I, I give you a fucking fact that you may not know. Did you know that? The verse Eminem wrote for Renegade was written years before, and Jay Z had heard that verse from he had already know he had he had already known what the fuck Eminem had written. Still wrote the verse he had, and it's still somewhat debatable from the majority of hip hop. 
which is it's cool. You know what I mean? Like he he got that record and he I'm did saying, very but well. It was written before, like if, cool. if, if they were, if they was going at it in that given time, it would have been much different. But that original verse was him and also, Royce. It also might have favored Jay more if they were going at it at the same time because there's a presence there. You know what I mean? That you're sitting there next to a goat. Eminem, I, 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 Eminem, Eminem being a student of the game gives would give ultimate respect to sitting right next to Jay Z while he's writing his lines right there. Yeah, you know but I mean? at that at that get, at that time. Eminem wasn't the fucking the nicest out of all rappers. Jay Z was the fucking nicest. Talking about blueprint time, like that was Jay Z's moment. Yeah, 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 yeah for you sure. Know what I'm saying like Eminem being in the booth, the only person that would go crazy in that regard would be Eminem because he'd have something. That's also, crazy. that's also when you look back, that was also Eminem's greatest era by far. Was it 2000, 2000? When did Blueprint come out? I don't know the exact year. Two thousand something. But now nah, blue when 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 Jay when Ho dropped Blueprint that was it. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying at that same time as when Eminem had his run. Yeah. That was his, that's yeah, was when he had like a ten year span where yeah. he was running the shit. All I'm saying yeah. is that when Jay Z when Jay Z dropped Blueprint he was that motherfucker, right? He was that. So motherfucker. if you were to go overall with everything considered, would you not take Drake over Eminem? No. No. Drake does everything. And, yeah, and, and I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even, I would, Drake is a rapper, but he's in a whole different league, bro. That motherfucker does everything. That's what I'm saying. He could be a rapper. He could be a pop yeah, star. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He could drop, he could drop the bars on you. He's, yeah. he's also phenomenal. It's, but it's, I, nah, I can't, it is I, can't, I can't, I can't put Drake in that, especially with the whole fucking Quentin Miller shit and all that, bro. That's a sticky fucking subject, bro. I don't even really write his own shit, bro. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't put him in that shit, bro. Like, I'll tell you, my, my, my objective goats right now. No specific order. And of course, Eminem is there. Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Yeah, Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Fuck. And it was three stacks until he fucking gave up hip hop and did the fucking flute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what, though, my man? Like, that's that's who he is. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm actually happy for him that he was able to do that because it's man, who he fuck is. That. Fuck you that. Know, I, to, do I want the bars? Absolutely. He needs to I, keep I, rapping I, because last time he rapped, he won Killer Mike a Grammy. That shows you, it goes to show you that. That's what he's supposed to be doing. I get it. He wants to got. He don't have shit to rap about. Whatever the fuck. Andre is so underrated and he's disgusting. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's one of those ones too. Different. I, I was. I was hoping he. Uh, I was hoping it was bullshit. And it was. <laughs> I, I I definitely listened to like a track or two, and I was like, All right, I can't do this. Yeah, I, I try because I fuck but, with him. Unless I still. I still am a huge fan of what he does. And I like music, right? So like I, I could listen to any type of genre if it's dope. I don't, I don't, I love music. Um, that's why I love doing what I'm doing with interviewing with people because yeah. you know, you get all sorts of different perspectives. And and I like to be able to be open and say, you know what, you know, let Benzino get his shit off and explain where he's coming from. Cause it's a different spot. No matter what the two of you, it's hard for you to agree with each other. Me, I'm just always sitting back and like, okay, I can hear it. You know, what I mean, you I'm like you don't. You don't think that the, the 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 I think the source of the energy that Benzino puts out comes from a racist position. I don't know if it comes from a racist position. I think it comes from I seen him just get bothered of the amount of attacks when he tried to be cool. Like I've seen him legitimately say, you know what, I I want this to be over with. I want to sit down with M, and then as soon as he said it, it was like pff, viral. Uh, Benzino can't let it go, you know what I mean, and he just gets so fucking frustrated. Like, damn! Every how, how long have you known Benzino? Honestly, for like maybe four years. Bro, this this motherfucker has been doing podcasts and interviews, disrespecting Eminem constantly. Yeah, yeah, I, I know it, but he's that's what I'm saying. He gets keeps getting he gets he keeps getting asked questions, and at if first he, he was the heat, it, just changed the he, and then he gets into it. Like he it it consumed him. I, I it 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 took over his life. You know what I mean? It's every it's day. Like, that dude, I'm, I'm like, going fucking. I can't, I can't walk. I can't walk around somewhere with him at the gym without somebody. Like I mean, bro, the first time I sat down and did an interview with him, I brought in a huge bag of M and M's for him. <laughs> you ain't you sure. I mean? The white chocolate ones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was like, yo, I get. And he was like, oh man, dope. I appreciate it. I smoke a lot too. You know, I'm gonna eat these. And I was like, damn, did you did you miss the punch? White yeah. M and M's. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, you know what I mean? So, like, it, he gets fucked with it a lot. He walks through a mall, airport, he gets fucked with it a lot. But I will say this. He's also 
he's also a, a very authentic dude. And when he when you're out with him and you see like these other celebrities and the way they interact with him, they all show love and they all support him. A lot of people walk up to him. He's, he's comfortable walking around without security everywhere. He just chills. He's going to stop into your local uh, store. He's going to sit there, take a picture with you, have a conversation with you. He's an authentic dude. Like He, he does get a lot of uh, shade. And, and because of this Eminem situation, you could tell the frustration is there. But I could tell you right now, like anybody that I know that's ever met him in person, says like, damn, that dude is actually an ill ass dude. Yeah. But I'm not doubting that. He, he may be a good person, bro. But like, think about it at that age, with the whole Eminem that. thing, it's like you, you, you walking into a goddamn, you walk into a fucking pond with piranhas and not expecting to get bit. Like he does it to himself. So yeah. It's hard for me to feel bad for that. You know I, mean? <laughs> I, I definitely I always told him I'm like uh, Z because you know I, I sat down with him and we talked about Shauna Brooks right and he's like um, I never met her ever I don't I don't even have I don't even want to say bad things about this woman or this man or whatever it is I don't yeah. want to say bad things he's like but it's like I'm trying to get rid of it and then there's like a Photoshop picture and then this comes out and that comes out and now now they're like, oh, well, you definitely were with her. And he's like, yo, it just pisses me off. He goes, this red roof in situation with another dude. He's like, Dan, you never like traveled around and had no money and just got a fucking hotel room that had two fucking beds in it and you shared the same hotel. He's like, he's like, back in the day when I was on tour, there was 15 people sleeping in one fucking bed. When they did these tours, all the rappers would have to try to figure out sleeping sleeping on the floor, sleeping on the beds to get these tours done. It wasn't the same as it is now. He's like, he's like, but he's like, no matter what, I can't escape it. I'm like, but Benzino, the way you talk and you type, you 100% help fuel the fire. Facts. You know what I mean? Like you, 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 you just you're a magnet for it. And he's a magnet. We see this in front of our face unfolding every single day. He gets when triggered, he's, he's emotional and it's a wrap. He did it in the beginning of this one. Yeah. I, I sat there. I spoke to him. I said, chill out. You don't need to uh, let shit agitate you. I've watched enough. Uh, I, I ain't watch all your shit, right? But I've watched enough and heard enough to know that you're a good dude and you're able to sit down and have a good conversation, yeah. right? And 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 I talked to him about it and he was like, cool, cool. You know, I can't wait to do it. All of a sudden, boom. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. What do I do? You know what I mean? Yeah, but again, I, 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 I got I to gotta get back to my kids and shit. And I did promise the people that um, the people that came over to my page and shot over their cash app, uh, hit that subscribe button on my page. I'm going to give somebody $100. So um, I don't know if Landed's on here or somebody. You could just go ahead and pick somebody uh, randomly. I got a couple Ooh. screenshots. Just throw those cash apps in there right now on the Danza Project YouTube page. Uh, Steve, I, I'd love to have more conversations with you in the future. This was dope. Uh, shout out to you and what you're doing appreciate and your platform, you, bro. I, I, I really appreciate the look, bro. Like I, that came out of nowhere, bro. The the, the, the fucking family sold me. Hey, Benzino talking shit, but the only reason reason only reason why Benzino talking shit because you dropped the fucking name. So yeah, appreciate that, bro. Yeah. yeah, I'm always down to fucking tap in, bro. I love this shit, yeah. dog. Talk shout out to guys, guy, all Mike, Mike, day, and I'm definitely with the fucking smoke. So, <laughs> yeah. shout out to my guy Mike in Buffalo that put me on to you too. Yeah. He, he he showed me all the uh shit you had going on. I was like, yeah. damn, this. Is dope. Make sure y'all he was, he was, on my channel I, too, Stevie Knight. He was actually teaching me like he's like, you need to be more like him. The way he talks to his people, he's like, you're always talking in the middle of a big ass interview, and you never talk to your fans. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? Might be right because I be getting so sucked into these conversations that I forget. That we're we're literally live streaming yeah. most of the time. I did an interview yesterday that I'm gonna talk to you about in a second. It's gonna be the craziest interview of the year. It involves, and even if I say it, it's gonna fuck it up, right? But it involves it, 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 it involves no, nobody's seen this one yet. I can't even I can't even air it due to like legal obligations and shit like that. It, it involves one of the largest trials in the world. Oh, you talking about um, YSL shit? Oh shit! It's 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 major, and there's a lot of revealing shit in there. Wow. Um, Don't get caught up, but, bro. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I'm making sure. <laughs> Don't it's get caught up. Huh? But I will be dropping it uh, in about a week from now. Yeah, and I will be dropping a little trailer to it to talk my shit. Um, but I, the reason I'm saying that is we always have a lot of dope people that come up here. If there's ever any uh, the artists that you you want to jump in mid fucking interview and talk your shit with them too. You know what I mean? Come through. We could just, I could have Landon set it up and you could just pop up on the screen and you could start talking your shit with him. It don't matter. And I got everybody coming up. I see, bro. 
That's yeah. it, dog. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, again, I appreciate you. Make sure you follow Stevie Knight at his YouTube page. We could go ahead and pick a winner for this hundred dollars. I feel like it's you know, how do how do I you want to pick somebody? You just want to pick you want if you want to head over to my YouTube page on your phone and you can just pick somebody that that fucking throws throw so somebody up. in the comments or somebody that, uh, don't they're, all, they're all throwing up there. Uh, Landon said, Damn, Landon, you're gonna give the winner that this <laughs> is that their that's not even their cash app. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, their cash app is that. I name? mean, unless oh they just wait, put, they maybe just that is a hashtag. Oh no, no, I take it back. It's a cash app. <laughs> the cash app says what does it say? <laughs> Eminem trash twenty twenty four. That's their cash <laughs> app. Fuck it. Hey. I bet your fucking subs hate Eminem, huh? Nah. Uh-huh. Not at all. No, I think no, nah, they 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 probably hate Benzino. Word. Yeah, no, nah, I mean it's, it's the same. Like we we grew our, our base off of a lot of hip hop, a lot of battle rap. And so when Benzino comes in there talking, you know, a lot of that battle rap culture, they fuck with him. Yeah. And so when he when he comes in there and talks, they they I mean, every time he's on the platform, you could open it. Unpredictable. Um, every time he's on the platform, you could open it. You could open it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Papa. Come here. Say hi. He could stay here. I got him. I'm about to sign off, anyways. <clears throat> here we go, buddy. Say, say hi. Say hello. Hello. What's up, man? <laughs> so, uh, is is that who we're gonna? Is that who we're gonna pick? This this is my son, Michael. By the way, you know. A baby boy right here. You know, you oh. told me you got your kids and stuff. Congrats to you. And, you know, shout out to the one on the way. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, so we'll pick a winner. We'll give that person $100. Lane, and if you could just do uh, send over there. Make sure it's uh, good and that's actually their cash app, though. Um, but, tell them to comment again. It's uh, just La Sombra is the La user. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just go ahead and get, uh, grab their info. Um. Type it in again, whoever it is, and make sure again that you follow uh that you go over to Stevie Knight's page. That's K N I G H T. How do you spell that? Stevie S T E V I E. Yep. K N I G H T. All right. My man's man on Instagram. Okay. So my man, let's definitely talk soon. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll send over that hundred dollars and then you know you have a good night. All right, Brody. Peace. All right.